Hello and welcome uh, to Rev Sports. And today we are going to uh, kind of dissect and analyze Neera Chopra's Diamond League performance in uh, Luzern. Of course, he ended in uh, top two. What a mammoth throw! The last one, season's best, 89.49. Obviously better than since it's season's best. Obviously better than his Olympic uh, throw, which uh, got him a silver. Rohan. First, first thoughts on the whole performance. Then we will dissect throw-wise or you know. Yes, if you consider uh, the whole performance, I was quite nervous till the third throw yeah. uh, because he was throwing around 82, 83. Uh, if I uh, look into his throws, uh, Niraj 83.21, 83.13, 82.34. 83 so at the third shot, he was going downwards, but from there he accelerated. But uh, the first first three, first four shots was were, were telling that he was not at his best. He was struggling with his injury that we had discussed the earlier day. So I will I will hold, uh, hold you uh, right there and interrupt you and ask you. So now, even though hmm. he has he has a uh, you know top two finish, um, and we have repeatedly said in every video he and his team knows better so for people commenting he and his team knows better of course you know he <laughs> and his team knows better guys we are just talking from a uh, you know from a journalist perspective we are talking from people who analyze the sport perspective so do you still think it was a good decision uh, to participate in uh, the diamond league uh, well from the first Four or five shots, I would say it was not a very good decision. Though he has finished uh, at the second place, he is Neeraj Chopra. He has that pedigree. He knows that he can throw and he kept it till the last. But I am concerned because he gave all his all in the last final shot despite his injury. Now, what is the situation of that injury and how much time will it take to recover and get back to the 100% Neeraj Chopra for the next big event, which is the Asian Games. You know, uh, I will kind of agree and differ both uh, with you. Uh, you said the initial set of shots actually made you think probably he didn't take the correct huh. decision. For me, it's the other way around. I think, um, you know, we were discussing this and I had told you once he had gone to top three, hmm. I'm sure he will put in all huh. in the last attempt, right? Yeah, he go went to the top three in the fifth shot and the, then in the sixth one, he so, gave his all. So, he must have done this, conserve, conserve, conserve. Uh -huh. And then, it's 65, and, yeah. 70% and then go and give a 110 or 120% which we were speaking yeah. about, you know. Um, but here's the thing. That's where I feel, you know, he shouldn't have participated because he would have done that. In, yes. in the last uh, Diamond League also, if you can remember, in yes. the fifth shot, if I'm not wrong, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, he... In the fifth one, he got... I exactly. Think, yeah, I think he, in the fifth, fifth shot only. Yeah, in the fifth, fifth shot. Or sixth, fifth yeah. or sixth. So, that is the pattern. That was only going on in my mind that he can do it in the, in the last. But what was worrying me is that he generally throws above 85. Exactly. So, now today he was throwing 82, 83. So, in the, even in the third shot also, he threw 82, which was not Niraj-like. At one point, he was in the number fourth. Which in fact, in, you know, at number, uh, even in the fifth shot, he hit 85 point, yes. uh, you know. 80.5.58. 85.58, something which that... Which is generally his first shot. Exactly. It is his lower end shots, yes. which, come, uh, which said that he is definitely not 100%, which he has himself said. But the problem is, when... With that kind of a injury, yes, yes. because definitely it was the injury that was bothering him. And the groin injury is bothering his run-up, yeah. not the shoulder yes, or the yes. throw. But obviously to get that 89.49, he must have put in a mammoth effort. And that is where I'm scared. And we were yes, also yes. discussing this. Uh, absolutely. That how much can that hamper? You know, one way it's fantastic that he ends the season. The, uh, as as uh, top uh, in the top two. Yes. But here's the other question that I wanted to ask you. He was not happy with the top two finish. Yeah. This must have added to his worry in both ways. <laughs> another top two finish, and I'm sure a the injury another, is not great. Another top two finish with another season best with a mammoth 89, where the first place athlete threw another 90. Today also Anderson Peters is with his season best of uh, 90 point something. But again, so he has been unlucky also 
with 87.58 he got a gold in tokyo with 89 back to back 89 he got second place in back to back events so, absolutely i mean <laughs> one way of course it, uh, credit to uh, peterson arshad but yeah and uh, knowing uh, i mean knowing as in it's not like i know him very personally <laughs> but studying the athlete yes. for a few months uh, or a year uh, four years now you know that would be something that will motivate him to do much much better you know because uh, the 90 mark is still still elusive as far as he is concerned um he is going there but just a less than few few centimeters few inches he's missing the 90 meter mark he is i think he's saving for tokyo uh, for nagoya asian games <laughs> yes because that's but that's again, the next big competition but again for nagoya he has to be 100% fit and now that's the, the question and now the question is with this sixth attempt of 89.49 what is the current situation of the injury he has still not shown to the doctor he has said he'll come back and show to the doctor and then the doctor will say if mm-hmm. if a surgery is needed and what will be the rehab time um you know in our previous video you were saying that he still has 1.5 years um i i'm just hoping that's the case you know and he comes back uh, way stronger last last thoughts um i was going to call you neeraj such a pr- <laughs> yeah such a privilege but privilege. Um, rohan last thoughts are you okay here's the thing are you happy with um, where he has ended the season or would would you have been happier had he ended it in olympics it's uh, uh, actually if you ask me this question it's a mixed emotions i would say because for me as a fan I want to see Neeraj Chopra playing every day. Yes, absolutely. Okay. The fans are <laughs> the fans are serious. I want to see him play every day. I want to see Messi yeah. play every day. Oh yeah. But on the other other side of the story, right now I am a bit uh, what to say uh, tensed I would say about to what is the little current, anxious anxious what is the current situation of the injury and how much time will it take for him to get back to his 100%. exactly and uh, i mean again you didn't ask but my lo- last yeah. thoughts too would, would be <laughs> this <laughs> yeah my last thoughts are the same you know i'm actually happy that he wanted to end the season uh, not midway but actually put a complete closure to it and i'm hoping that now he has kind of got a closure he knows that also yeah. you know i'm taking the positive with an injury if he can continuously hit the 89 mark 89.45 89.49 then once he comes back and i'm hoping that's as soon as yeah, possible that, that's the only thing yes yeah i th- i think you know uh, th- there are a lot of gold uh, medals loading trophies loading having said that neeraj's legacy is not defined by that neeraj's legacy is defined by the fact that you were just uh, saying that you know in athletics when you yes. just so, throwing 83 so what happens what happened is uh, before neeraj in athletics we were like yeah we won't get it exactly. in certain t- tournaments but after neeraj even if he throws below 83 we are like are bhai kya ho raha hai neeraj hai you can do it exactly so how our expectations have gone to this le- when this neeraj was at 4 people in twitter we were obviously updating the scores and you could see that people are like oh, why is he at 4 you know <laughs> and this is not nobody was trolling him the point is that expectation huh. that uh, pride that that uh, no, what do you call I, it i mean i think people have taken it for granted that neeraj chopra is equal to the top two positions exactly <laughs> and and who has done that neeraj himself has yes. set that example his consistency uh, you know the way he has um, performed rohan and i can only sign off saying we hope many many more such performances coming up in fact better performances coming up uh, but most importantly um, you know we hope neeraj recovers quickly and uh, this long time groin injury does not disturb him any further in his career absolutely so ending notes uh, congratulations neeraj bhai uh, even if with uh, injury 89.4 Five in Olympics, eighteen point four nine here in in Lausen. Uh, you were that close, but the first place position player was a little bit better. But that, better that, on the day, and it doesn't day. matter. You know, and because it doesn't matter. Uh, you will uh, you will always be our golden boy, Neeraj Chopra.